Hello everyone. I'm doing another little short uh, video. Again, I've, I've seen quite a few conversations around, and and it's uh, about how how to get screenshots, you know. And, and well, I, I did a little search, and and all the all the uh, YouTubes and everything I could come up with were the old method. And since then, I'm not even sure the old method would work still works uh, since then they've come up with a, a cool tool you don't need to create a project to capture an uh, image and then convert it and everything the tool will do it for you and it just takes a little bit of of figuring it out and uh, I uh, let's see so first you got to be in the hangar and and this isn't for uh, I, I mean this is more for livery dev so you got to have the uh, you know the the dev mode turned on this is not uh not part of the SDK this is part of the actual game it's just a developer mode and you got to have that turned on it'll give you these uh this here so we got to be in the hangar for the tool to even work you got to have the dev mode on and be in the hangar and you know, the first thing I did a while back is I looked at it and, you know, added, and I'm like, oh, wow, you know, look at all this shit. Don't know nothing. Well, if you don't have anything, it won't do anything. You can hit add, capture, and I go just straight to the desktop, and it'll capture something. Well, it even gives you the white background like you were going to, like you would want. But, I mean, if you notice, it's way too big. And you really only want like that much. And how do you get all that out of it? Because that's the old way. That's similar to the old way. So you can do that and then you can edit that file and, and get a, a deal. But much easier, and, and this is, they do actually mention it and in the SDK. But it's way down here, you see, way at the bottom. Uh, it, when you select custom camera, this will give you an extra button. And then you can use your drone camera settings. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh. That was that was like the, you know, the forehead slap moment for me. Because, you know, they have these. And, and they have multiple like these. They have different uh, groupings. But none of these seem to work right. They, it doesn't. And, and, and I can tell you why. Uh, because the way it's designed, if you're making a new aircraft, then you have the aircraft itself in the SDK package. Well, that's where all of those are trying to read that that aircraft config from, and since we don't have it, they won't work for us. So, if we go back, you add a new group. Okay, there's a couple of things. Uh, you know, first... And you take an image. Did I already do that? Yeah. So there's a couple of things. One, it's a PNG, and we need a JPEG. Uh, the other is it's the same size as my desktop, and we only need a portion of it. So we we can adjust that right here. If we make this say dot .jpg, it will actually. And if you notice, it's oh, uh, that's warning me. It doesn't it doesn't support dot .jp. But it does support JPG, so we know we're good. Uh, and then the other thing we can change is the size. Now, I happen to know thumbnails are 16 by 18 by uh, 582, because I looked in the official folder. <laughs> Saw what the, or I should say, that's what I think they are, because they were uh, in the official folder that way. And now you notice it already says so by default which is all right we're, we're going to go to custom and then when we select it you notice where we are well that's no help at all right and you know you got the edit camera here but that's not what we need what we need is what they were telling us about right here you get this additional button for custom camera boom you unlock that and then i use a my uh uh, 
controller like you'd use a console controller. But now you move it like you would any uh, drone camera. Just like you would move your drone camera in game. And, and then you just get it where you want it. Now, you know, that's still okay. And we have the, the sizes and everything. And we can save this. Let's go ahead and save this. Now, here's another one. We'll just, we'll call this quick save. And we'll save it. Now, we can go ahead and capture. And it'll give us... This new new file and it's thumbnail JPEG, so it works and that's not bad, not bad at all actually. Uh, but there's a couple other things we can actually look at, and one of them is replicate aspect, and this is so cool. And here, so now we can see when we see the actual. Uh, aspect that's in. I'm going to move this over here for a minute. You can see we've got a lot of wasted space, and and why do that, right? So, you know, same thing. Now I don't know why, but it automatically locks it. But we can unlock it <laughs> and use our controller or the keyboard. The, the SDK does have the keyboard uh, commands for moving the drone. I don't know them, so I'm, I'm using my uh, controller. But yeah, you can you can literally get exactly what you want to save. I guess we should be on the side a little bit. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Let's go with that one. Okay, and then we'll lock it. Now we can save again, and we can capture. Now let's see what we got. And there's a good thumbnail. And it's even correctly named, correct type, that's ready to go. Now, that's cool, but we want both of them. And, and we, so we could add another group, but if you notice, your camera gets reset. Does it? Huh. Oh, it, yeah, it, it it doesn't show here, but it, it if we take the pictures... Let's see, it might work. I don't think it uh, worked. Let's see what we have. We do have the extra picture. Here's the correct thumbnail. And then, yeah. I, I don't know. I may, I may have moved it in the thing. But here's what I like to do. And, and you know, once I got one of them right. Uh, what am I doing here? What is this ad group? Delete group. Okay. Once I get one of them like this one right. Then I'll just open the uh, image here, and to make sure I have the right camera, exact same camera, I'll just copy the this part. Paste to here, and the two things we want to change would be the name, and the size. Again, I'm just going by what's in the uh, in the official folder and what I've seen. So those are the sizes I use. Uh, and now, okay, now, and, and the cool thing about this is it, it doesn't matter where you're at in this scene or anything. Uh, we're going to clear this. And we're not going to replicate anything. Or, but we're going to open this again. And now we have two uh, thumbnail small, thumbnail. Both of them are custom. But we'll just hit capture. And we'll go right to the desktop. Uh, 
And then we have the main. Oh, what did I do wrong? Oh, I'm opening the wrong file. Here we go. <laughs> we have the main and the small. And that's kind of it. I mean, now, you know, then you just save this little file and you can open it. It, it you know, I, you would have to obviously have a different one, you know, if you were, uh, you know, a different set of uh, saves, which you could actually save in a separate group or something on that. But I'm, I'll be honest, I don't actually know how to do that. I, I save them uh, just with separate names like this GA. And uh, yeah, that's it. You just hit that. And for example, let's uh, let's change aircraft. It doesn't matter what aircraft, whatever. Uh, any small aircraft. No, I'm going to try that one for fun. And you just once you once you get the save, you're good to go. You know, then you just load your save in there. Like I say, you'd obviously need different ones. If, if you were doing airliners, you would have to have a different set. But uh, yeah, here's the full size and, and the small one. They're JPEGs. So these are, are literally ready for the uh, livery folder, for the texture folder. And that should do it. Uh, probably longer than I expected to run on this. Uh, Y'all have a good day. I, I hope that helps. I, I know I've seen a lot of people having trouble figuring out how to use that uh, this uh, aircraft capture tool. <laughs> and uh, it, it's actually easy once you. For me, the the big the big thing was that uh, you know that that was my uh, oh shoot moment. You know, as as just being able to move the camera around with my. Uh, drone camera settings and, and being able to uh, set the uh, actual background and that's that's a big big help for me and I just thought I'd share that y'all have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon